My name is Lorraine Herter. I'm 64 years old. We live on the uh, Black Mesa region of the Navajo Nation in northern Arizona. My mom was a sheep herder all her life, so I've been with the sheep ever since I was a little girl, and uh, it means a, a lot to me, you know. I wanted to live that life, you know, living off the land. The drought that we have makes it difficult for us as a, a sheep herder. The biggest challenge is finding water for our livestock right now. That's the tradition of being a Navajo that you have animals. Sheep herding is vanishing in our area. We're only the last few shepherds out here. There used to be uh, water running out of the ground. We used to take our sheep there to drink water. And now, today, we have to haul water for them. There's no longer water in these earthen dams. They're all dry. We have to go to the windmill to get water. We take a truck over there. It has 500-gallon tank on it. Then we fill it up with water. Then we bring it back here for the sheep. I hook up the water hose up to the tank, fill up the 550-gallon uh, container. I take the water to the sheep, to the cattle, to the horses. There used to be water all over the place. Now, about this time, we would have plenty of water because of the runoff from the snow melt. But now it's not. Nature is out of balance. The land is stressed out, and we're stressed out. Our elders are saying, we've experienced drought, but never like this before. We've sort of come into uncharted territories with climate change. Things are happening in our environment that we've never seen before. It's becoming more extreme. It's becoming less predictable. We have a water basin. It has less than a gallon of water that we use to wash our hands. Like as a family, we all use it. In the grand scheme of things, if we have no water, we have no way of living here. We have no way of sustaining our traditions, our culture, our language. My name is Edith Simonson. I'm 68 years old. I'm a mother, I'm a grandma, I'm a great-grandma. Right now, it doesn't rain and it's dry, so I don't see no water. It's gonna be hard for us to live if there's no water. Water means life. If there's no water, there's no life. I learned how to weave when I was with my mother. When I was about eight years old, that was the first time I put up a loom and start weaving. I'm worried about our traditional way of life, even preparing traditional food, growing corn, and also having a livestock and share the wool and make rug. If it happened, we're not gonna be a Navajo because we're gonna lose our language, we're gonna lose our culture. Our young people will not know where they're coming from. 